There Hello. we go. Hello. You See, okay? I think I got that effect on them. <laughs> oh, did you put an effect on already? Nice. Ooh. I did think I did think you can do it. I just didn't know whether it put it on for both of us or if it was just one person. I think that looks better like that. I'm just not allowed to drink that because you'll see it come on. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, you can hear me. Okay, good. Right, so uh, welcome, welcome to uh, an Insta Live with me. Thank you very much for accepting this. Um, I've got loads of questions for you. Oh, really? Um, That's good. <laughs> no, I thought you were going to get no questions. No, no, we've got loads for you. Literally loads. I did have a bit of an issue before uh, we came on. I was writing up all the questions and for some reason Instagram wasn't showing me uh, mm -hmm. my insights. So, uh, yeah, I had to, <laughs> had to remember what they were or ask some people, can you send your questions again? And then I, was, I, I think I've got them all. I think I've got them all. But we'll see. I've never done a live before, ever. Have you not? Is this your first live ever? Yeah. yeah. I did one on TikTok nice. once when I was drunk. Um, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, hang on, bear with me one second. Uh, just froze on me then. Okay, I think we are good. Right, so did you want to introduce yourself? Yep, uh, I'm Paige's only scrans, but obviously my name's Paige. And I've not even had my account yet for a year, but it's wow. getting close, I think, to a year. And um, I'm 24, and there's not much else to know about me. <laughs> <laughs> that is about well, the extent of it well we're going to find out a lot more about you with some of these questions uh, your foodie journey and everything like that but um, if any of my followers on here or if you're watching on catch up later on on the videos go follow Paige um, I'll put her uh, handle in the video description as well so go give her a follow uh, some of you may have already seen uh, just a little plug here you may have already seen on my story I had something delivered to me today um, and the thing that I got delivered was a brand new t-shirt of 92 Plates Foodie Club. <laughs> oh no wait, that's too good. I was trying to read that thing because it's backwards. Is it backwards? Yeah, because it's like flips. Oh it? yeah. So it's, did you get uh, that made or did you get that sent out? Uh, I got that made. I made that myself. Yeah. I like that. My friend so has um, a chopping board like that with their... Um, really? Yeah, which I think is really good. That is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Maybe, maybe a chopping board might be next. Who knows? Although I don't think Kirsty would be too pleased if I have loads of 92 plate stuff all around the kitchen, but... <laughs> just overtake it over everything, the forks and all, just like engraved. <laughs> yeah. It'll be on the plates and the mugs <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Are you ready? Are you ready for these questions? I, yeah. I feel like I'm on a quiz show. Oh, we should do that. We should do like a game show. Oh, a foodie hmm. game show future ones um if anybody does have any questions while you're watching please chuck them on we will try and answer them as we are going as well but Paige, your first question is uh what made you start being a foodie or start your food account so oh she's just actually joined it was my best friend who encouraged me to get my account lottie um oh, okay i was like really struggling with like food and eating and stuff and mm -hmm. um I always like when we did eat like we used to go out like we still do go out I don't see her as much as I want to anymore but uh whenever we do we like go we used to go on like proper like I say far food events so like, we drive to Worcester for a booger but a booger, a booger? For a booger. <laughs> <laughs> and just like when we were there we'd always like be like instagramming it like taking photos like on my personal account I've got like um two like full highlights just of food and just like loads of photos of it because like whenever we did go out like we'd always just snap away and like, she was just like, why don't you make an account? Because she has a cocktail account. Oh, okay. Cocktail, cocktails with Lot. I think that's Cocktails with Lot. Or Cocktails, I think it's Cocktails with Lot. She's probably going to correct me in a minute. But I was going to say, she'll like, probably plug it in a second. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, she does her cocktail page. So it, she like encouraged me to start my food page. Oh, nice. And you said that you've, you've been on here less than a year. Yeah, less than a year. Like, it's not actually been that long. I feel like it's coming up to about a year now. Wow. Because I was, I was posting daily and I was waiting for my like 365 posts, but not been, I've not been good at the daily posting at the moment. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, find, I find it really tough to post every single day. It's uh, kind of like a chore, doesn't it? It's like, like another like yeah. second job. Like it's yeah. always just like trying to keep on top of that like and everything else that's going on is, 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 can be so hard. Yeah, especially like if you don't have content either. Like, oh, like... I've no trouble with that. <laughs> <laughs> so much to post still. It's just right, the thing that I find the most time consuming is writing up the captions. Because right. when I started, I would just write like a one liner, just like, oh, this is a cookie. And then I was like, when I got more into it and like people were like, I was writing more reviews and people were like giving me like free stuff, like free food. I was like, I need to put some effort into this. <laughs> and I remember I went back and I did all of my previous ones. They all got nice, like proper, proper little captions. That's why I put all the effort into these captions in. It, t it takes time. It does take time. Do you, do you like um, create drafts and stuff so that you're yeah. ready to post them? Yeah. Yeah, I've got so many drafts like ready to go. And I always feel bad that if like, like say like, I support a local business, like, I've got one to like post and I'm like, I always say, oh, I'll post it. And then I just keep putting it off. Like, I'm like, oh, I've got so much to post and it's just like a backlog. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's fast. I find the drafts is really useful. What I want Instagram to bring in is, is like being able to schedule a post. Yeah, that would be so helpful. Like, that would be so much better. So we could just do it for you. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> as much autonomy in this as possible. Because I don't know if you're if you're the same, but I love the creation. I love, like, creating the food or taking photos of the food. But the effort of posting it. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 like, I, honestly, I get that. I'm like, oh, I need to post. And then, like, it, I, like... I like write the caption out and then I just never go around to actually posting it. Like, oh, I need to actually post it for people to see it. But do you, do you take do you take time to do your hashtags and stuff, or do you just put random I hashtags? That you I think just of? Google the top top food hashtags and right. put them on every time. So I think you're supposed <laughs> to use different ones. I think to get the most interaction. But yeah, I've heard I've heard different things. I've heard like some people say that they use the same ones and. It helps get them that reach, and I've heard that people say that they use different ones because Instagram doesn't like you using the same ones over and over again. I always find when I hashtag as well, you always get them like, "Oh, DM this to blah blah, DM this," and I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah." The comments on that, I'm always just like, "Oh, my sister just joined mine." I'm always like <laughs> deleting the comments, and I'm just like, "Oh, just like," and, but you need to hashtag, otherwise it just doesn't. They never go out there. Oh, I'm yeah. my sister's boyfriend just joined as well. <laughs> whole family's joining <laughs> yeah I, I i i hate those ones where it's like ah oh, dm to get it promoted here like no if, no, and if like, you want to share it time to like yeah just share it and just tag me in it yeah yeah exactly and then you get you get the <laughs> i love the ones that come through where it's like you've been tagged in the post and it's like you've won an iphone 13 and i'm like what i thought they stopped and then they start they've started again i was like why yeah. like, i don't understand then how do people can't fall for that surely like it's all the time it's just like i've not entered a competition to win my phone believe it or not <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i have no idea who you are i don't even need a new phone oh i could do with a new one but <laughs> just the storage <laughs> so storage that's the worst part is when when i know i need to post is because i don't have enough storage for, for the food photos oh. in my camera roll what have you got, an iPhone? Yeah, I've got an iPhone uh, XS Max, I think. Right. It's okay. like a few years old now. And it's full up with, with food photos. Honestly, my camera is just food. Food and cows. <laughs> <laughs> All it is. Um, we, we need to talk about something. And if you've been following Paige for a while, you're going to notice uh, the amount of times that, that Paige puts on her on her stories that she's won something. Uh, and I swear it's a <laughs> daily occurrence, right? <laughs> How? How? This just came in the post today. <laughs> is, that, oh, is that one of your competitions you've yeah, won? I've got some, um, it's from Jenna's Healthy Bakery. I don't know if you've seen them. But I've right. got like cookies and brownies that came today. And also here, yeah, this, <laughs> this is such a good one. <laughs> Look at that. There's a bottle of gin, oh, gin, and it's massive. Wow! I won. And you won that as well. I've, yeah, I won that as well. I've got um, I've got a meal that I have to go for. Um, I right. won a two course, uh, well, a three course meal for two. I've got 
and then I've got a couple of vouchers as well that I still need to use. I win stuff all the time. <laughs> it's actually... It's mad. It's every day, isn't it? <laughs> actually, it's... Yeah. I swear, like, every day I come on, I come on and like, go through the stories and you're there and you've won something. And I'm like, how? How do you keep doing this? Like... It's honestly, like, I don't know how I win actually the amount I do, but the luck is obviously there. Your like, luck is on your side, for sure. I always think, oh, I stop entering competitions, but I'm like, no, I keep winning. <laughs> yeah, I'm winning. Why did I stop now? <laughs> so what, what's your favourite thing that you've ever won? Oh, well, the first thing I ever won was a free Chinese, and it was, um, like, one of them munch box things, like a yeah, massive yeah. box. So that's, like, one of my very first posts. I won that. And I'm not a massive Chinese fan, but that was, like, really, really good. Like, I really right, loved okay. that. Okay, nice. That was a good one. Recently, I won all that cookie dough, like, the massive tarps. I don't know if you saw it. They were gigantic. I, I, saw, I saw the post, but, like, how big are they? Like... I wish I... I don't have any left. They're literally, like... They're their mega tubs. Yeah, they're, like... They're massive. Like, they, wow. they make, like... I would say they made, like, 12, like, little cookies. And they lasted so long. Like, I was literally sharing them out. But that was a good one. I've won so much. Like, it's actually hard to, like, think what my favourite thing was. Like, I've won, like... um Oh, yeah, Lottie's just said how good the Chinese was. The Chinese was really good. <laughs> and they, they, gave, they ended up giving me double the amount I won as well when we got there. And so I was like, yeah, I'll take double the amount of Chinese, of course. Wow. But I, yeah. I, I honestly, uh, cupcakes and stuff, there's just always good things. I can't even think, like, the best thing I've won. Like, there's too many. Just, too yeah, many there's to literally just so, that's <laughs> just a couple I can like, think of that was, like, stuck in my head. But they were, they're definitely, definitely good ones. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just always in awe, like, when I see these competitions and, and the amount of comments some people get on their competitions as well, you're like, oh, I'm never going to win this. And then just to see your page constantly, you're like, oh, I've just won this, I've just won this. And I'm pretty sure you've entered a few more giveaways. I'm pretty sure I've seen some of them on your, on your story yeah, recently I'm too. I'm always entering. I am quite picky though, like, if I see a giveaway and it's got, like, a couple of thousand comments, I don't even yeah. bother entering it. Like, sometimes I'm just right. like, there's no chance I'm going to get that. But then when it's like got like 200 comments, I'm like, oh, I'm, really, I'm with a good shot there. Like, <laughs> and then just have it done like this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, always, I do enter on my personal page as well. Don't oh, you do? So W <laughs> chances, nice. Fair enough. I mean, it, it works. Whatever you're doing is working. So, so continue to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I need the luck to stay <laughs> sure. You've got, you've got to have known that a question was coming because that's something we talk about all the time. Yeah, that, that is so true. Like, everyone just, as soon as I win, like there's a couple of people and they always just pop up. They're like, you won again. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to like share it out. Just like, I need to do giveaways with the giveaways I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine like in your house, you've got like this storage cupboard and it's just full of food just, that you've won. <laughs> the giveaway cupboard. Like it's, it's just constantly stocked. <laughs> yeah exactly um so as well as winning um who has been your favorite collab that you've worked with so far i reckon so i've got a couple of local businesses that i've worked with so barbecue society they um i tried some of their new burgers and i love them anyway like i'd already been to them two uh, three or four times like a handful of times like whenever okay. someone says to me What's a takeaway in Gloucester that you recommend? That is the top of my list, like, without doubt. Um, they do blue light discount as well, like, which is nice. good. Um, there's, like, just, they are, the f have you had them? No, no. Oh, Their food is so good. They've just opened um, in Five Valleys in Stroud as well. They've just opened another, like, branch, and I've not been to them there, but they're amazing. That was great. I work with um, Deli Pizza, which okay, is like a nice. local um, like pizza van as well. And they were amazing. And then me and um, Nick went as well and they gave us some more free stuff. And I was like, oh my God, like, this, is, this is good stuff. Um, <laughs> they, they're, both of those are like really... And then Thai to go have, have given me free food when I've been there. And that's always lovely because they're like my... that If I have like one meal like to go for, I'm always like, should we go to Stroud? Like I'll just be like, let's go to Stroud because it's just always so good. But 
yeah it's only been like small businesses like like local ones yeah. but like that i think that I, that's what i prefer i prefer like going somewhere local and like trying somewhere that's not i guess like just like a chain restaurant yeah and you're like building those relationships yeah like, small so much more personal yeah absolutely like yeah, it's nice. not just more money in the bank for them it's like a natural like they care about what they do as well yeah and i think nick is on now she says loving the live thank you oh. i'm glad you're enjoying it i think she's poorly at the moment as well oh is she yeah i don't think she's very well so i'm we glad we're it. giving her something to do while she's led up in like being oh. <laughs> um so in your household who generally does the cooking um so i either live at home with my sister or i okay. stay at my boyfriend's a lot um so that kind of depends i do the lunches and then right. he does the dinners i would say normally yeah. Um, don't cook a lot. We'd get takeaways more than anything, I think. But that that was another question. Was do you normally cook or do you normally get takeaways? Yeah, we do normally. Um, we, we're getting better at cooking. We just bought okay. these um off TikTok. We bought these lunch boxes, and they're like the bento boxes. Like they're split into like different sections. Right. So okay. I've been, yeah. I've been cooking his lunches. Um, but in the evenings, normally it's him that cooks. Not me. I think I think you posted on your story just now, didn't you, about your meal prep that you've done? Yeah, yeah. I just made um, teriyaki chicken with broccoli and spinach for lunch. Which nice. I I tried some of the chicken when I was cooking it, and it was good. Oh, boys, baby, nice. them. they did good stuff as well. They gave me free bread. <laughs> <laughs> so all, all of the all of these relationships that you built with these small companies are now joining the live to see. If you're plugging them or not. <laughs> yeah. They're good. They're, they, they're croissants, um, if you ever get a chance to try them. Amazing. Yeah. They're yeah, so I'm, good. I'm sure we'll be, we'll be up in Cheltenham at some point. It's where Kirsty went to uh, uni. Oh, uh, yeah. was up yeah. there. So I used to go out there like every other week or something to go see her. Um, but we didn't have much money back then. So it was literally, <laughs> we would go to Sainsbury's for a breakfast. <laughs> Sainsbury's do a good breakfast. They do do good breakfasts. Um, and then I think we would cook in her accommodation for lunch and dinner. But then when we used to go on a night out, I, I can't even remember where it is, but uh, there's like a kebab shop on a corner. I think I know the one you're on about. Yeah, yeah. It's only got like a few seats inside. Um, but yeah, that, that would be our go-to. <laughs> yeah, no, I still don't have a lot of money. I don't know. So it's good when, when businesses do give me free stuff. <laughs> and it means I can actually eat them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So if any businesses are watching right now, gift, just gift away. <laughs> eat me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what's your, out of the things that you have cooked, what's your favourite dish that you have cooked? For me, to, for me to cook, I reckon. Well, what I for lunches, I before when I was at work for like literally probably like a month, two months, all I had for lunch every day, I made this um, roasted pepper and tomato pasta, okay, and I would make nice. it. I'd make it on the Sunday and just take it, in, and it was so cheap to make, and it tasted so good. And I know a couple of my followers have actually. Um, they've had it because they were like messaging me for the, like, the recipe and the stuff because I, I was just posting about it all the time like you need this nice. pasta you need it that's a really <laughs> good one and then I think I've made um some noodles the other day and they were so good um yeah. I saw it on TikTok and I was like I need to make them so I made them and they were they were amazing they were just like chicken and pepper like spicy noodles and it was so good <laughs> do you get a lot of inspiration from TikTok yeah, I use TikTok all the time. And, like, most of the accounts I do follow are just food-related. Yeah. I, I wanted to make, like, a food TikTok because I know how easy it is to get, like, like game followers and stuff on there. Like, the platforms, you could, they can be massive. Mm. But I'm so bad at making videos <laughs> for food. Like, I try to make, um, like, reels on here, and they are mm. just horrendous. They're <laughs> tough. They're, They're tough. Like, i got to admit, like, there are times where... 
just doing the recording of it and you're, you're like having to move the camera all the time and you're just like, oh, is this worth the effort that I'm putting in? But when you see the finished thing that you've made, you're like, oh, yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad no, so that. I like, I like, I, um, I'm like video them. I'm like, what on earth is that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no one's going to watch that. <laughs> but even the reels on here, they get, they get so many views. Mm. Like the views on them, like they seem to like, like Instagram, I think like post reels, like at the top of the. Yeah, the, it's, yeah. it's very weird. You seem to get like a burst of views and then it either like slow down or stop. Yeah, that's so true. Like it, one of my TikToks, um, it's like 5k views off a million views. And then it just like, it, it was constant. Like I was waking up and it was just like all the time. And then I woke up one day and they just stopped. And I was like, no, oh, get me to a million. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody on here, pop over to TikTok. Let's get that to a million. Yeah, let's watch do that, that. 5,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, do, you, do you ever cook from cookbooks? No, I wouldn't say so. I think the only thing I is like a cookbook kind of thing is like the Simply Cook kind of. Um, okay. And I got some, I've just taken them into the kitchen. I, at the market, I bought like um, the like curry powder things and you just like put them in and you just add your chicken and it's like done. And they were so good, but I don't really use cookbooks, I guess. I think okay. it is just the internet in the morning that I, yeah. the internet so... is not. The question of what's your favourite cookbook is out. <laughs> yeah, I could probably tell you, my, I could probably go find one of my mum's, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't be mine. <laughs> yeah. um, other than food, what other hobbies do you have? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that is about the extent of my hobbies. Oh, is it? Really... Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, I like my main hobby other than, well, it's in the process of getting food is uh going to holy gelato because they have cows and i'm obsessed with cows and <laughs> that is i don't really i do i guess i swim on occasion and that is okay. about it so is is a cow your favorite animal by any chance yeah definitely it never used to be i think cows and um, like puppies cows and puppies yeah they don't they, they don't like, mix though they, they don't no, mix they're just, I don't know. I love cows. It's only like a recent thing, but. Okay. So you've only just recently started to love cows. Yeah. They're just like baby cows. Like, they're just so cute. I don't know. To be fair, yeah, I, I get that. I mean, my first ever job was milking cows. Oh, really? That's, that's what I used to do. And the, the greatest thing about milking cows was you'd get make your coffee in the morning and then you just literally take the milk straight from the cow's tea into the coffee. My granddad, I was literally talking to my granddad about this like probably a week ago. And he was saying he, when he used to milk cows on the farm, he was like, the best thing was just like warm, fresh milk. Yeah. It was like, great. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing like it. And like, it's just so creamy as well. It just adds another level to a coffee. It's like, I can't, so the milk, like a gelato, and I think it's milk made that like the, they're like straight at the cows. I can drink, cause I'm lactose intolerant. So I can't okay. drink normal milk, but that milk I can drink. So it's oh. like, I think it's just like the process of it. But I love being able to drink like actual milk. Like I don't drink it a lot, but when I do, I'm just like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you ever like look at stuff and go, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna eat that. I don't care about the repercussions of it. I have a Pizza Hut on the end of my bed right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> is is normally it is just like actual milk that really badly affects me. Okay. Um, like I can eat quite a bit of ice cream and yeah. a reasonable amount of cheese. It will, to be fair, like after pizza and stuff, I do get ill, but right. it's so worth it. Cheese is it's never a question. Cheese like, is life. Cheese yeah, is you life. Can, cannot go wrong with it. <laughs> so what's on the pizza what what have you ordered i have got it, it's a a veggie supreme veggie but it, oh yeah it's called the veggie sizzler it's like the spicy right, yeah. vegetarian one um with the spicy stuffed crust it is i'm okay. i'm really fussy oh and a barbecue base because i don't i'm not the biggest tomato base i like tomato bases from like some, like you know like you like actual real pizza but if pizza I'm is, the pizza, yeah. yeah it's like not the tomato base for me but yeah i find i find pizza and dominoes they have very sweet 
kind of yeah. tomato base. Um, but you can just tell the artificialness from it, pretty much. But. Yeah, like, I'm not a fan. Like, and if I get like a pizza in like a box, which is a very rare occasion, I don't like this crab one. So it just yeah, it's not for me. Uh, Nick has asked, uh, "What is your favorite plant-based milk?" Um, I always use soy milk. I don't okay. know why. I think it's my, when I grew up, my granddad would always give us soy milk. So I think that's probably why. And then I don't. I'm not a massive fan of. Um, Almond milk. Right, okay. I like oat milk, but it's it's so creamy. Like, it's just yeah. so... It's good, but it's just too much for, like, my everyday milk. I think I think oat milk as well has, like, quite a pungent taste to it. You, you can yeah, tell you can it's oat milk. Yeah, definitely. But... That's why I feel like with soy milk, I'm so used to it now. Like, I can't even tell the... Like, I just... I just like, m most of the time, before, before I had um, milk from the farms, I didn't even... I didn't even remember what milk tasted like. Right. Like, it just been so long. I was like, "This is milk." I was like, "I don't know what milk's actually meant to taste like." <laughs> um, who inspires you the most? And it can be either foodie or non-foodie. Inspires me the most. Yeah. <laughs> I would say probably. Um, oh, I want to say like. Like my family as like a rule, um, mm -hmm. I would say probably like my nan and my granddad, like they've like played a really big role like in my life like as a whole. Um, I would say my nan inspires me like the most, just like her outlook on life and stuff like that. Nice. nice. What about what about food? I, I, Nicole inspires me the most. <laughs> <laughs> so how the foodies has got to be Nick, right? Oh yeah, she's and she only started a page two recently. Like yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, I've been following her for that long. Yeah, um, she's only had a page like uh, literally like a handful of months, if that. I think she's... one of my other favorite foodies is um, what Georgia eats. Like I love yes. like her content and I just her like she's just so nice. She's hilarious. I wish she lived Absolutely. closer to me. Like I really want to meet her. Like. <laughs> Did you see the live that we did with her? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't get to watch it because I was out by. The... Saw like, a little bit, and I was like, oh, like trying it on my data. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she she's fantastic. She's got such a great personality. Like, yeah, she really does. And it, we have the same. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's me and her always wear it when we post stuff, but we have the same tracksuit, like a night tracksuit, and I always see her in it, and I'm like wearing it at the same time. I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing that right now. <laughs> 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 so I'm just looking at Nick's uh, Instagram right now like for not to be doing it for too long nearly a thousand followers I know it's crazy isn't it yeah like she that's, blew up like, so it was good. literally like overnight she just like blew up like so many Amazing. like so many followers yeah, it was really good like to be fair she's literally I think it's literally been a few months <laughs> that's, yeah that's crazy growth that's that's incredible you know I need growth like that on my account <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anybody on here following, like, not following Nick, get on over as well to, to Nick underscore eats. Absolutely fantastic. Although, if you are feeling hungry, I don't suggest it. I don't suggest going on to anybody's account if you're feeling hungry because you're just going to come out even more hungry. So much worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you, do you find that the, the foodie community is, like, really supported, though? Yeah. The, I was never expecting to gain so many friends from having an Instagram account. Yeah. Like, yeah, and like, there's so many of us. Like, obviously, like, I feel like Bristol and stuff is like so. Much, there's so many more people. But even just in Gloucester, there's so many people here, and like, we've all like met up, like, gone for food, like, gone for breakfast. Nice. Like, there's there's one girl that literally lives like opposite me, pretty much. Oh, really? And like, it's just so, it's just so nice. Everyone is so nice. I yeah. find it really hard as an adult to like make friends. Like, it's like yeah, when you're in school, you like put together. You, just form friends and you know as an adult it's so hard to make new friends and it's like yeah. you either make them through work and that's like how i met nicole it's like through work and okay it's, it's so hard to meet new people you can't just go up to them and be like oh hi what's your name i probably look at you like, right <laughs> weird yeah. but the amount of friends i've made since then is actually crazy and like there's such a good group of us and like go out go out for food and i met I met one of the girls the other day and like I met her just like one-on-one -on -one and we went for dinner 
I was so nervous beforehand, but she was so lovely. <laughs> nice. Yes, I, I got me. I've never, I haven't met anybody face to face. Like, oh really? But um, obviously, as you know, you're part of the uh, the WhatsApp group that we got. We've, we've all been trying to like, yeah, yeah it's but so hard, isn't never it? Never work. Up. Yeah, that is so true. Um, but hopefully one day. Hopefully one day. Uh, yeah, I was happen. really, I was really lucky when um, we went to the launch of um, Flight Club in Cheltenham. Right. And there was some foodies there, and I, I could, li- I literally spied this couple out the side of my eye, and they just sat in the perfect position when the pizza was coming out, it was going straight to them, and then to everyone else. And I was sat there like, that is so smart. And afterwards, they came <laughs> up to me, and they were like, "Are you Paige?" And I was like, "Yeah." And they were like, "It's telling me like, how, like who they were." And I was like, "No way!" And like we ended up, so they stayed, and like we played darts with them and stuff. And it was just so yeah. nice because there was like early, quite a few of us all there, like, and we actually managed to all be there at once which was nice yeah uh, rare occasion which is cool. <laughs> it is so hard to meet up as a group for sure yeah definitely i mean when somebody puts an event on it, it it's great because you can go and you, you're, yeah. you're all there for one reason um but i i got invited to one in in london do you know snack city bitch yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he invited me along, um, but unfortunately, like, I couldn't make it because oh. it was it was when we came back from our uh, yeah we came back from our wedding. So it was the first day I was coming back from work, and I didn't feel I could take that Friday off as well as a Tuesday okay. that I had. On. So I was just like, I, I can't work this. But there was like ninety people or something all together, mm-hmm. and I was like, you're gonna have to have like labels or something to tell yeah, you. Name you are. <laughs> yeah, name tags. Yeah, your good. Instagram yeah. handle underneath your real name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> because the thing is, as well, like, like in in our in our WhatsApp group as well, you you call people by their Instagram handles, like you don't know them by you their forget, real name. You forget everyone's real. Honestly, like when we um when Boyd's Bakery launched, like we were there, and I was like, I was like, that's. Oh, I'm like, well, this is their Instagram name. <laughs> I'm just, like, trying to remember everyone's name. Um, that is the only trouble. That is definitely. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's just remember. But I, I find everybody so nice. Like I've not ever had like anybody trolling or saying something negative or anything like that. It's been it's been pretty good. Yeah, definitely. I'm the same. I I know a couple of um a couple of the girls have had like some like. Kind of like weird like negative comments and i'm just like i'm right. so glad that that is not on my account yet like yeah i don't know what i would what i would be doing i'd be like delete <laughs> yeah yeah delete and block <laughs> just yeah honestly like straight away as soon as i saw up like <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you do much traveling before covid yeah i loved to travel like abroad and stuff like i I was really, really fortunate. On my final year of uni, I literally went on 10 holidays. And that was incredible. Um, I've got my holiday booked this year, so I'm really hoping COVID doesn't have some big impact again. Yeah. And we can actually go because I haven't been on holiday in what feels like forever. Where are you going? I'm going to Portugal. Oh, nice. Yeah, my grandparents have a timeshare there, so... That's where like our go to holiday. So I'm so right. excited. In the Algarve, by any chance? Yeah. Um yeah. in it's Quinta de Lago. Right, yeah. okay. It's honestly it's so nice there. I literally love it and one of the best steaks I've ever had in my life. So I'm definitely booking a table there when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your what's your been your favourite place to go to? Your pl- favourite country to visit? Uh, so I'm. I would say I'm torn between Italy and Thailand. They okay. were both completely different places. Mm-hmm. But so Thai food is like my favorite. Okay. So I love that, and I love like the like cultural difference, like how different it is. There was actually kind of nuts to me, but it was just so nice. Like we like saw elephants, and it was just lush. And then Italy, I would say, is like one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. I was just so nice like and where, where did you go in italy um i went to venice verona and milan nice yeah it was really uh verona was definitely my favorite i i loved it there it was so nice we just like spent one day just like we hired the bikes bikes around the city it was just so nice nice what did you think to milan because I, I want your thoughts on this oh. i wasn't thrilled oh <laughs> that. right i think it's very overrated 
Yeah, massively. Yeah, I don't. Like the cathedral. I'm not in a hurry to go back. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It just because... seems so. Um, I know it's like very touristy, but it just seemed kind of like fake. Like, mm. just like I no, I wasn't a fan of Milan. Like that was my definitely my least favorite place. But yeah, no, I'm I'm 100 percent on board with you with that because uh, Kirsty and I we did uh, we started off in Rome, then we went to Florence, then we went to Milan, then Venice, and Milan was my least favorite. I was like. <laughs> Like the cathedral was beautiful, and I can't remember what the little shopping center is called. Was nice to look at. Yeah, so but expensive. I was like, "There's nothing there." Like, it's just full of like tourist traps as well. Yeah, like, I feel like everywhere you look, there was some sort of scam going on. That you're just gonna take all your money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the wristband, the wristbands were the worst when we were there. Honestly, he this guy put one on me, and I was like saying to him, "I was like, I have no money. Like, I'm trying to like." Screaming, so it's like I've got no money, oh. and then he was just like, "It's a gift," and I was like, "Okay, well, you're not getting any money from me." <laughs> yeah. Like stormed off, like no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty bad. Like in France, are bad as well. Uh, I can't remember what the where we went, but they were they were everywhere, and they're trying to put like um, wristbands on you. I think in Milan, they were trying to like also sell bird feed as well. So take, you can take feed the pigeons with. Yeah, my friend did that and we did yeah. roast them for it the entire holiday because they paid five euros or like 10 euros for a foot of leg with a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> but Ver Verona is beautiful as well. Did you go see Juliet's balcony? Yeah. 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 That's we a tourist it and We just like went, went in, got the foot of leg with the little statue, looked up it and went, oh, nice balcony. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's all you need to see. We, we paid to go in. And there, I, if I remember rightly, there was like a statue of Romeo and all of that kind of stuff. And you actually got to go stand on the balcony, but you're not allowed to stand on the balcony for long. You, oh, yeah. You're only allowed on there because there's so many people wanting to do it. Yeah, I can imagine but, it's always busy like, around the mirrors, isn't it? So everyone yeah. wants to see it. Yeah. So which, which of these places that you've been to, which have been the best for food? I would say... Obviously, Italy is amazing food, but it made me really ill. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just like cheese and milk and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, right. Gotcha. Um, Portugal is one of my favorite places. I had, I went, it's called Julia's, and it's like uh, like a restaurant on the beachfront. And I had salmon wrapped in sole in a champagne sauce. And that was one of the Very best things I've eaten. Oh, it was so delicious. Like, I literally <laughs> think about that. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go back. So the food in Portugal I have was amazing. Like I did have some like actual. I had some Portuguese like proper cooked Portuguese steak. Like okay. how they actually cook it, and that was really good. And then obviously Thailand. Like the people I was with, they were ordering like pizza, and I was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. So like, we're in Thailand. I was like, "Don't do this to me." <laughs> like Thai food is always going to be my favorite. So. So definitely. that's your favorite cuisine ever. Mm, yeah definitely I just love it and have you got a good Thai place near you or yeah so Thai to go in Stroud like in that's in Five Valleys as well okay. the Pad Thai I had there was better than the Pad Thai I had in Thailand like really so so good and then I tried when I went out with the um I can't remember her her name's Zoe I think it's like the real foodie group I can't remember her actual tag right. um we went to Taste of Thai which is literally around the corner from me and we um, had one of their set menus. So like, we got to try loads of different dishes and that was so good. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I had to eat for lunch the next day oh. as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if, there was a, if there was a place that you could go to for the food, not Thailand, let's take Thailand out of this and Italy, let's take Italy out of this as well. Where would you want to go? I think I would probably, oh, I would go either France mm -hmm. or America. Okay. Very, Any reasons? The portions, <laughs> the portion sizes. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good burger. And then when mm -hmm. I, I went to America when I was a child and we went to like, it's like just like Denny's Diner. I don't, it's probably right. 
a something of nothing in America. It's probably just like the, the food there was so good. And I just remember yeah. they did unlimited pancakes. And the woman said to me, she was like, I bet you can't eat four. And I took that as a challenge. And I ate eight. And I was like, I could not do that now. But I was so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember that. Like, the look on her face. And then I really want to try snails. Okay. I want to try it. Fair. But I want to try you, you it. You like there, not here. You like diving yourself into the culture, then. Yeah, I want to like try and like just being sat on a balcony with like a proper creamy hot chocolate and croissants. Like yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong, man. Like in the films. Yeah, I just want that that picturesque, like in, in like the hotel robe as well. Just like looking over at the other. <laughs> that's that's my dream. Now I'll have one day. With, with with people on the streets below waving up at you, saying bonjour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and walking with their baguettes and their little berries on. <laughs> if if you ever do get to America, I would highly recommend In and Out Burger. Oh yeah, I've heard lots of good things actually. I always see them on. Um... So good. Yeah, they do look really good. I'm um, yeah, I love a good burger. Burgers are. Where's yeah, the best? In... Where would you say in England then is the best place to go for a burger? Uh, the best place to go. See, I haven't, I haven't been to many burger places. I'll be honest. Um, I do, I, I do like Five Guys. I do yeah. think they're really nice burgers. I just can never justify the price. Uh, everybody says that they're like so overpriced. Massively. But I always get the um the the little burger because it's just one patty, but it's nice. Right. I guess the chips they're so they give you so many, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I'm they pile those them. chips on. It's literally like they've just taken that paper bag, scooped it. Yeah, and got loads of like chips. they're not messing about. Like, the first time I saw them, they like pick up the cup, and I'm like, "Oh, that's a big portion." Then you just see them like chuck loads in after. I'm like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you find new places to eat, and what powers your content as well? So, what 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 makes you feel like, yes, I want to post this or so I think like finding new places to eat, like I rely a lot on like other foodies. When I see another foodie post, I'm like, I'm going there. And I've and me and Lottie have like, a, <laughs> literally we had like lists of places that we wanted to go. Like honestly, like, and we used to just like take them off and just go somewhere new. Um, I think that is like, a big like thing. Just like people like saying to me, "Oh, like, that's good. You need to go there." And like whenever I see somewhere that looks really good, I would just mess them like where is that even if like, it's just like, on my personal page and people like post food I'm like where is that I need to go there <laughs> like that is a big thing and then I guess like the thing that like mostly I post pretty much everything on my food page mm -hmm. like the good the bad the ugly yeah but I think the main thing that makes me not post somewhere is if I've not enjoyed it and it's like a small like a local business I think okay. that's like what makes me not post somewhere because I feel bad. But then yeah. if you're just like a regular business and it was bad, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> if, if you can take the hit, pretty much. Yeah. 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 It's like, do you know like when people like say like when they're seeing they're like, oh, like if, it, if it's a chain, it's free reign. And that's why I, right. I take the attitude into like, into this. I'm like, I, they, they, they should be better. If you're like a chain and you're doing rubbish, mm. You should not be like hey, how 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 when you're so big, but yeah. then like little local businesses, especially like, if someone sent me like cakes or something that like, I I can't say them like I won a competition a little while ago. Of course, and, of course, and I really <laughs> I really didn't like what I got. Oh, and I, I, I obviously I couldn't post about it because I don't want to post about it and write a good review like a fake mm. review and then people spend their money. And I know other people that have gone to this business as well, the one I'm thinking of, and have really enjoyed it. So I don't want to be the one that's like, yeah. slay it, especially after I've got something for free. So yeah. I can. It's, it's, it's okay not to like something. I mean, you're not going to like every single thing in the yeah. world, right? I mean, I yeah. don't know if you saw the, the live with Snack City Bitch. Um, was it last time? No, two. No, two uh, times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One before last. Um, he was saying that he went somewhere and 
Yeah, I've just seen spill the tea. Spill the tea, I just saw. <laughs> <laughs> I'll message you later. <laughs> <laughs> he went somewhere and he said it was just awful. Like, he hated it, even though it was free, but he didn't post about it then. And he actually messaged him and said, look, I can't post about this. And yeah. I, think if, I think if it's a small business, it's always good just to, like, kind of tell them privately, by the way, this is why I experienced and, and this yeah, is definitely. this is what... I feel should be better because they'll take that on board hopefully. If yeah, they definitely. Don't, I would then... never um, say like it was just the flavors that I didn't like or something like it was just my palate. Then yeah. but I wouldn't slate some of that. But like, I think like the roast I went for last week, it was so bad I complained about it and I ended yeah. up getting it for free. And I was just like, I'm not gonna because I, I was like, I'm doing my little series. I'm not skipping another week because I hadn't gone out for a roast the week before. I was like. So reviews going out there, it's just being honest. And I think I put in the review about how they had given it to me free. Like the customer service was it was really, really good. But the quality yeah. of the food was just not it. <laughs> yeah, you expected a lot more. I think I remember that. Um, because the beef was overcooked and you had parsnip all over your yeah. vegetables too. Yeah. Yeah, they um yeah, they they put the the vegetables they gave me was cabbage, swede and broccoli. I don't like sweet and I don't like cabbage. <laughs> and so I was like, right. fine, I'll eat broccoli. And my broccoli was literally like under a pile of sweet and it just tasted so bad. And I was just sat there like, why is this, why has this happened to me? Yeah, yeah. Was everybody else's meal like that as well? Uh, yeah, the, both of us, like we had pretty, pretty rough, but uh, right. I think he likes, like, like, liked him more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> So have you got another roast lined up for this Sunday that you're going to? Yeah, I have. I'm I'm going to Hereford. And okay. this, so it's where my dad lives. He's taking us. And it sounds really weird. Apparently, he's been recommended this place. It's on a <laughs> campsite. So I don't know how I feel about it. It's just like, I don't know why. I, I like messaged him and I said, oh, I've got this place. I've been recommended in Hereford. We're together. He was oh, I've booked us. We're going to this campsite. And I was like, okay. I feel like that is just the only food experience I've ever had at a campsite was a breakfast and it was horrendous. So I'm just hoping <laughs> it's not like that because I cannot take another bad breakfast dinner. Yeah. 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 I mean, a campsite is probably not the first place I would think of for a roast. Yeah. I, apparently but... it's really good. People at my dad's work have um, recommended it. But... Oh. Well, I'm let gonna, us all know. I'm not sure. What I'm going to keep my. I'm going to keep open minded because I've got yes. a couple of. I tried so hard to book pasture in Bristol, and they don't have Sunday slots until August. And I'm like, oh, wow. Like, why? Why is that so far away? But. Uh, what's the most unique place you've had food at? Oh, that's a good question. You answer that first. I think. <laughs> uh, unique um... place. I don't, I don't think I've ever had a really unique place. I mean, the most unique place I've had is uh, in Elminster. In there is somewhere called Pip's Carriageway. And mm. what they've done is they've turned an old train carriage, like the old train carriage is not the new yeah, one. Yeah, like a proper like, steam train. Yeah, exactly. And they've uh, transformed that into um, like a, a restaurant. And then they've oh, got no. like a double decker bus at the back, and they've got like a marquee and stuff, and that's it, it's pretty unique because I've never been to somewhere who's who's done that. That um, sounds but, really good, actually. Yeah, if you're ever in Ilminster, it's um, it's Pip's Carriageway is on the right, and then on the left is my favourite farm shop, which is called the Trading Post. Uh, plug in for them, so hopefully they'll they'll like me for that uh and then yeah they've got so many like stuff in there that's just like you don't see anywhere and it's just yeah, fantastic wants. um but i would say the most unique experience i've had with food i'll say this um was when i went to venice actually <laughs> so we stayed in uh in this kind of hope it's not wasn't a ho well it's kind of was a hotel but we could lay on the bed i could put my arm out and touch the wall Kirsty could put her other arm out and touch the wall. It was that small. And Cozy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we didn't, again, we didn't, we weren't like making a lot of money at all. But then Kirsty was a student anyway. Um, so we had French toast 
with okay. jam every morning <laughs> for I breakfast. Love I love French toast, but it was boring. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't after after what? Yeah, I like it when they've like, got them fat fat French toast is like covered in God knows what. Yeah. What about you? What's your unique experience? So, as far as unique goes, I would say um, Mowgli and Cheltenham. Cause they've right. got like this, sw- they're like the dining chairs are like swings. Okay. Um, so that was a really good experience. It's really pretty as well when you go in there. Like it's really like well, like little fairy lights and stuff. Mm. It's really nice. I would say that's probably like the most unique. Do these swings that- still swing? Yeah. So they're like pro- they they, ha- they are chained down, so you can't go too far. I right. did manage to um, smack it back a little bit further than I probably should have, but I would say that. Or I have, when I was in America, um, went to like the Harry Potter uh, world and I did eat in like the grand, like, you know, the, the hall. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the grand <laughs> hall, like Harry Potter's hall with my like butter beer. Okay, no. Did he just get bored? He's like, right, I'm done. I'm bored of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got something a little different now. Okay. I've not done this before, but we're going to play a live game of this or that. Okay. Are you up for that? I like that, yeah. (laughs) Cool. So we've got uh, eight minutes left before we have to do this. Hopefully we can get through these. Uh, So this or that, Pepsi or cola? Pepsi. I don't like either. (laughs) Oh, you you don't like, do you not like Pepsi at all? Okay, right. (laughs) It used to be a Pepsi girl through and through, but after COVID. mm. Right. Oh, any reason? I don't know. My taste has changed so much. Oh, so you had COVID? Yeah, and, and it's just that... changed. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And you're okay now? Yeah. You're good. Yeah, it was over Perfect. a year ago. Now. I think it was like two years ago now. When yeah. it all started. Yeah. When we all thought, oh, it'd be a couple of months. Yeah, it'd be a couple of weeks. We'll be nice. Okay. Little... <laughs> uh, eating in or eating out? I think we know the answer to this. One. Eating out. <laughs> eating out. Uh, ice cream or chocolate? Ice cream. Mm. Uh, pizza or pasta? Pasta. Oh, I know controversial Ooh. pasta. Yeah, I'm really fussy with pizza. I only get um like vegetable pizzas. I don't like pizza right. meat. Okay. So, yeah, pasta. What pasta would you have? Oh, there's they do at Setabello. They do like a mushroom and like truffle pasta, or just like a pesto pasta. I I love pasta. Pasta's good. Nice. Fair. It's so versatile, isn't it? You can literally yeah, you can have and like and always rigatoni pasta is like my favourite shape. Is it? Mm, I love rigatoni. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fruit or vegetables? Vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat enough of either. <laughs> the so disgust bad. on your face at that question. <laughs> I would say probably I would go with veg. Because you can veg. season veg, can't you? Yeah. But. Um, starter or dessert? Do you know, I would probably go for no main and have a starter and a dessert. <laughs> Just like, there's because you can always get like garlic bread as a starter. I mean, I'm, that I'm wasn't one of the options, but... Starter. You... Starter. Starter. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'd ever skip a main though. That that's what I'm thinking. I'm... So, where, last time I went um, to Setabello, instead of having a main, I just had two starters, like two of the big ones, and I was like content. Did Did the person waiting on you not go? Sorry, what? <laughs> because no well, it's the, the, my starter, it is like a whole garlic bread. It's like a whole pizza, basically, but it's a starter. So. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Every day of the week. Yeah. I don't like tea. <laughs> proper proper coffee or do you like instant stuff as well? I'll drink either. But I do I'd much prefer a proper coffee. Yeah. And none of that Costa shit that they Yeah, like. I'm I'm not Costa Coffee do not like I am a fan of Starbucks. Okay. I'm a Starbucks gold member. 
I'm <laughs> <laughs> talking to Starbucks now. That's taken a lot of effort to get to that gold member. It's embarrassing um, how much I think you have to spend for that as well. <laughs> sweet or savoury? Who sweet? I think. Yeah. You think? You sure? Yeah. I'm not sure. Don't. <laughs> like sweet and savoury together, like <laughs> cheese and pineapple. You know, both at once. Mm, oh, yeah, because God. ice cream, ice cream is sweet, and I'm. Yeah. I'm a sucker for ice cream. Ice cream and brownies. What ice cream do you go for? What's your go-to? So, if it's like all the time, it would be like, like say like, you know, from the supermarket, Ben Jerry's, um, Netflix and Chilled. The okay. Harlem Dars salted caramel. Or there's this business I found about really recently. It's called Cherry Moo. She's local. And she probably makes the best ice cream I have ever had in my entire yeah. life. Um, and I have her caramel one in the freezer. My freezer at the moment, the top drawer is a homemade ice cream, two Ben and Jerry's, and two of the cherry moo. That is my entire freezer drawer. Mm -hmm. right. Home homemade yeah. as well. Oh yeah, I love homemade ice cream. Nice. So it's so easy to make. People would always think you have to have a machine, but you just need to whisk for ages. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't. Too much effort. <laughs> yeah. Get one that just does it by itself. Yeah. I mean, with Ben and Jerry's though, it has to be fish food. Oh, do you reckon? Yeah, it's all right. It's no Netflix and chilled. Have you tried? It? Do you uh, like peanuts? No, I, no. I like peanuts. I just don't like peanut butter. Um, I think you should try it. It's like chocolate, peanut, and pretzel. Okay, it's really okay. good. I'll give it a try next time. Um, when it comes to sauces, hot or mild? Hot. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Are you, I love. Are you like black label Nando's? Is that what? I normally get the hot if I get my nandos. Okay. Mm. Uh, muffins or cookies? Muffins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound too sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let them both. Uh, night in with a film and snacks or night out on the town drinking? Mm, oh. Night out. <laughs> night out. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can get your chicken nuggets after that as well. Nice. And then the last one, Cadbury's cream egg or Cadbury's caramel egg? Oh, I actually tried my first caramel egg like this week. Okay. But I'm going to stick with the OG, the cream egg. The cream egg. Nice. Well, that is it. That's all my questions that I have for you. I like that. Love, this love that. that little That's bit hard, of that though. game. Yeah. yeah, it's tough That's when hard. you have to do it live. Yeah, the pressure. When, oh, like, oh. when you're doing it on people's stories, you've got time. Yeah, you <laughs> time can hold it down it. and think, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it does make me think. Um, any future plans for Instagram? Any future restaurants you've got in mind? Um, I really, I've got, so you're saying about um, Snack Crazy Bitch. That's the name, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I won a um, p uh, pizza pizza? Sandwich sandwich. Oh, okay. Um, in Bristol. Sure. <laughs> I don't know where pizza 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 came from. <laughs> um, I really want to try there because I've been meaning to for ages, but I've got a twenty pound voucher now, so nice. I need to actually use that. Their sandwiches do look mega. Let's be They're honest. massive, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I don't think they're currently. I don't think they're open on the weekends, so that's why I've struggled to. Oh, okay. But well, I hopefully you can point. get there soon. And we can see what you've chosen. But, yeah, definitely. Um, unfortunately, we are running out of time. We only have one minute left. And I'd like to thank you for coming on. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you've had fun. Yeah, thank you for having me. No, no it's been, been my pleasure. Um, anybody, who, again, who is not following Paige, go have a look at her account. Paige is only scrammed. Um, follow her. My comment like every photo um if you're watching this on catch up also comment on all of the this or that what would you choose what is your favorite ice creams and all of that because i'm sure we are going to love to know especially ben and jerry's what ben and jerry's would you choose that That's is what i want question. to know yeah. that is a good question for your next week's live you can ask yes. next week, what what ben and jerry's be a constant question <laughs> Yeah. Um, but no, thank you very much. And thank you, everybody who has watched this and who is going to be watching this. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed it as much as 
much as I have and much as Paige. Uh, we've got one already. We've got uh, Baked Alaska. That is a good um, one, too, Phil. But yeah, no, thank you very much for coming on. And I, that's my sister who's just said I don't like ice cream. I mean, I'm now going to disown her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you not like ice cream. But, um, I've already got my next week's lined up as well. So that'll oh, be yes. announced on uh, Monday next week. Uh, it's a very good one as well. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, I'll Paige. Wait, uh, and wait enjoy, your, enjoy your pizza as well. Yeah, I will, definitely. All right, See you have later. a good evening. Goodbye. Bye.